Hey book club, Dan here from One Man Book Club. Now, I don't often share negative reviews on my YouTube channel. Uh, trust me, there's plenty of books I read that I don't like. But usually, I just share the positive ones, the ones I want to encourage people to read. But I also want to make sure that parents are aware of books that I come across that are advertised to kids, but I don't think are appropriate for kids. And I have one of those to share with you today. Uh, so when a middle school literacy teacher recommends a book for your kid, you're probably going to assume it's safe, right? Uh, we learned the hard way a couple of years ago that this isn't always the case. There was a book that's being sold in the middle school book fair, and the teacher recommended it to my six year, uh, six, sixth grader. And I always buddy read with my kids if they read a book I don't know. So when my sixth grader brought home the reins from the school book fair because his literacy teacher recommended it as something he'd enjoy, I got myself a copy and jumped right in. And then I jumped back out. The Reigns is a zombie book. Now, zombie books and I don't typically get along, but sometimes one comes along that I actually enjoy. Like The Girl with All the Gifts, for example. It's a great book about zombies that I loved. Now, I figured that a middle grade zombie story might be a cool thing. I was wrong. Let me set the scene for you. So aliens are attacking by sending asteroids crashing into the Earth. These asteroids carry seeds of spore-producing plants that turn anyone over 17 into zombie slaves. Their mission? Capture all the children. Now, don't get me wrong. I've read and enjoyed some violent books. But this violence? is committed by children and against children. And it's gruesome violence. Almost like the author assumed that because we're, there's violence against zombies, that it's okay. But it is just not the way it comes across. Because it's against children and by children, it just puts the violence on another level. You want me to give you some examples? <laughs> Why not? Okay. So this book includes parents and school teachers committing violence against their children. One scene includes a mother who captures a child, tears bloody patches of hair from her own head gruesomely and descriptively, and then uses it as rope to tie up the children. The children are collected and kept in dog crates. They're transported on trucks like chickens in cages. And then when they go around the cliff, a corner on a cliffside curve, some of the crates fall off the truck and the children are trapped inside screaming in terror all the way to the bottom with descriptions of all of this happening. Upon reaching their destination, the terrified and screaming children are then strapped to a conveyor belt so the evil alien queen can one by one stab a needle into their bellies to implant an alien baby so it can grow, causing the children's abdomen to expand until they burst open, literally. They're screaming, desperate tears, and descriptive sounds like thump and squelch are used to describe this violence. Children kill their own parents. They kill their school teachers. They kill their friends in a variety of gruesome ways, including stabbing them through skulls with hay baling hooks, blowing their heads off with shotguns pressed to their foreheads, impaling them through the eyes with fireplace tongs, shooting them in the back of the heads with a cattle prod, attacking, uh, attacking them with a pack of large frenzied dogs, and many more. Now, each of these violent acts include detailed descriptions of the acts and the results, including blood splattering or pooling, bones crunching and sinew tearing. The children exposed to this extreme violence show very little remorse. They're able to observe and commit extreme violence without suffering any trauma. This is an adult author exposing children to adult themes and adult violence that they are not prepared to experience. It's published by Tor Teen. So shame on the publisher, shame on the author. Not to mention this story is really dumb. Do Sex Machina is the first choice of conflict resolution, plot holes abound, and just many other problems I don't care 
to waste any more time explaining. Uh, I immediately went and let my middle school literacy teacher, child's middle school literary teacher, know what I thought. And I hope that um, they've put some, they've stopped recommending this to, to the students without letting the parents know first of what's in the book. So anyway, that's my experience reading The Reigns. Um, I want to make sure everyone hears about it, knows in case their kid brings home the book, so you would know what was in there. Happy reading, everyone, but happy reading of something else in this case.